Hi, I'm Shane, Product Development Engineer with Quick Attach. Today I'd like to talk about the features of our 72-inch vibratory roller. To start, I'd like to talk about the frame of the vibratory roller. This frame weighs 690 pounds and is constructed of 3x3 square tubing and 5 8 inch plate steel. You want a very solid, a very heavy and stiff foundation from which to build from. The reason you want a stiff and heavy frame is so that you have a lot of resistance to the movement of the drum. You want the movement that the exciter is causing against the drum to be driven into the ground and not into the skid steer of the frame itself. One of the important features of the frame that we incorporate is an offset feature in the mounting plate. So the mounting plate is mounted through a pivot pin to the main frame, so that allows the mounting plate to oscillate. That keeps the drum in constant contact with the, with the ground, even if you're in uneven terrain. But on top of that, we can bolt the mount off to the side to get one side closer to a building, for instance. So you can get that drum beyond your wheel width and get it closer to obstacles. On the front of the frame, we have dual urethane scrapers. These scrapers are bolted to the frame with slotted holes so that it's adjustable as the scrapers wear. You want to position them either in light contact or the small gap between the scraper and the drum. And the purpose is to scrape or remove any sticky materials that might get stuck to the drum. We utilize a gear motor to drive the exciter. Gear motors are well suited to high speed applications. The motor is bi-directional for one main reason. You'll notice that when you start up the exciter that the drum may start to turn one direction or the other and this is due to the friction of the grease in the main bearings. By having a bi-directional motor you can optimize the rotation of the drum so that it turns the direction that you're moving. This prevents the drum from skidding across the surface. A really key point to make about soil compaction is that most soils have a natural frequency at about 2000 VPM. That means that at 2000 VPM, you're gonna be the most efficient at compacting soils. That is why we've sized our hydraulic motor to run our exciter at 2000 RPM at 18 gallons per minute. There are three masses that directly affect the performance of vibratory rollers. Those are the mass of the frame, the mass of the drum, and the mass of the exciter. You want to maximize the weight of the frame maximize the weight of the exciter but you want to minimize the weight of the drum and the reason for that is that the exciter is what's driving the motion and the vibration into the drum and if you have a lighter drum you have a better amplitude a better movement of the drum itself if you could picture a heavy drum there's going to be a lot of inertia a lot of resistance to that movement that's why you want to minimize the weight of the drum I wanted to talk a little bit about the components that we use in our drive system. First of all, we have the rubber isolator mounts. These are three inches in diameter and we utilize four of them on each side. They're a nice soft consistency and the reason that's important is so that we can isolate the frame and the skid steer loader from the vibrating exciter and drum. This helps prevent the skid steer boom and pins from wearing out. It also gives a softer, more comfortable ride for the operator but it also keeps the energy focused outboard where we want it, in the drum and the exciter. The second component I want to talk about is the outboard bearing. These bearings are spherical roller bearings, so they have very high speed and load ratings, and they are greasable. They connect the exciter shaft to the subframe. The load rating of this bearing is 23,400 pounds. The third component I want to talk about is the inboard bearing or the main bearing. This bearing isn't easy to see because it's inside a housing here, but it connects the drum to the exciter shaft. This bearing is a spherical roller bearing and consists of two rows of rolling elements. The diameter is six inches and the dynamic capacity is 80,000 pounds. There's two main reasons that spherical roller bearings are used in vibratory rollers. The first is that they have a very high load rating. And secondly, they can adjust for any possible misalignment between the frame and the shafts. Skid steer mounted vibratory rollers will never compare with dedicated ride-on machines in terms of performance. Because of their size, they are better suited for smaller jobs like driveways, parking lots, or pads for homes and garages. Some of the performance specs you'll see published are vibrations per minute or VPM, amplitude, and dynamic force. 
It's important to know the relationship between these three specifications. All three specs are affected by different variables, but the main variables are the mass of the eccentric weight and the speed at which you're driving it. Vibratory packers are a very complex subject, so I hope you found this video informative. Be sure to check back as we make more videos just like this. As always, give us a call or check out our website if you have any questions.